uh, we identified a set of about 1,700 patients with bladder cancer with, with uh, spread to these uh, regional lymph nodes on scan, what we call clinical lymph node positive disease. And then we looked at the different treatments that these patients had, uh, and they were treated with chemotherapy alone, uh, with surgery alone, with chemotherapy followed by surgery, and with surgery followed by chemotherapy. Uh, and we looked to see which treatments offered the best outcomes. Um, this is a complicated modeling approach uh, because as one can imagine, when you don't randomize patients, uh, there could be patients who were uh, starting to receive chemotherapy with the intent of going to surgery, uh, but that wasn't pursued because of some, uh, uh, some unfavorable outcome. So this requires uh, some more advanced modeling than we typically use uh, in uh, these retrospective type studies. Uh, but applying this modeling, uh, this multi-state modeling, what we were able to show is that patients with treated with chemotherapy and surgery, and really the sequence probably didn't matter so much, uh, but chemotherapy and surgery had the best outcomes. Uh, our primary outcome was the proportion of patients alive at five years, uh, given that that is a pretty good surrogate measure uh, in this disease for cure. Uh, and what we found was the likelihood of patients being cured was much higher uh, when chemotherapy and surgery were administered.